Hi there. Now for part B of this question, we've now got to sketch on separate diagrams this graph y equals 2 times f of all of minus x and then plus 3 and state the coordinates, the corresponding coordinates of the points P and Q under the transformation. So I'm going to build this up in several parts. I'm going to look at f of minus x first of all. What does that do to the graph of y equals f of x? Well that reflects it in the y-axis. So what we're going to get is a graph looking something like this. The point P at 0 to 11 stays invariant. It's not going to move because it's on the mirror line when we reflect it in the y-axis. But the point Q here at 6 minus 1 now moves to the other side and it's going to have coordinates minus 6, minus 1. So f of minus x then is a reflection of any graph y equals f of x in the y-axis. Next I'm going to look at multiplying this now by 2. And what that does to any graph is to stretch it by a scale factor of 2 parallel to the y-axis. So what's going to happen is this point at 0 to 11 is going to be pulled up to twice that value to 0.22. This point here at minus 6 minus 1 is going to be pulled downwards. It's going to be positioned now at minus 6 minus 2. And the points on the x-axis here, they're going to stay invariant. So what we're going to get is a graph looking something like that. Okay, So you've got 0.22 for this, this point here when it's stretched by a scale factor of 2 parallel to the y-axis and minus 6 minus 1 is pulled down by 2 units. Okay, It's doubled so we double minus 1 going down to minus 2. And now finally we add 3 and what this does to any graph is to translate it. Translate it parallel to the y-axis by 3 units. So we're going to take this graph and just translate it, slide it up if you like, by 3 units. So this point here at 0, 22 is going to go to 0, 25 and this point at minus 6, minus 2 is going to come up 3 units so it's now going to have its vertex at minus 6, 1. So it's going to look something like this. So I've put in the new points then for P and Q. The new point for P is 0, 25 and the new point for Q is minus 6, 1. Okay?